Hello friends and welcome. You are watching episode number 16 of our RimWorld Fort Ranchos Let's Play. My name is Sean and I'm glad that you've chosen to spend some time watching me play video games today. When we left off it was day number 56 and we had just had this alien ship land up here. So here's my goal for defenses. I don't know how well this is going to work to be honest. But we're going to mine this out so I can have a pawn or two hide back here. Hopefully this long column will prevent them from hitting anybody but this will be the closest i'll probably play some sandbags down in there as well solar flare great yeah, that's just what we need and uh then up here i built this diagonal thing so hopefully they'll try to shoot through this diagonal area and then this uh, little bunker over here too i don't know we're gonna see all depends on what's inside of there but it's gonna take us a little while to get healed up and and uh, stuff in order to go fight those guys um, but, you know, I mean, we have to. <laughs> we can't just let it sit there. Especially with the psychic drone. Like, if it was a poison ship, we could wait a little while. Wow. Cassandra. When it rains, it pours. Fortunately, it's a desert, so... Probably not a whole lot of damage that's going to be done by that thing. Yeah. That's, that's good. It didn't really do anything. But still... Psychic ship is going to be the, the real challenge. Add it on top of our... Uh, like, look at Julian's mood there. Jeez, poor Julian. Yeah, I'm sure Julian's one of the major break risk. Oh, so you lost Mint. Oh. Gosh. So it's going to be... Uh, the start of fall by the time oh shit and these are planting I have the wrong kind of tree in here god damn it oh for crying out loud don't bother planting more trees right now oh my gosh okay well we'll, we'll make it work it's going to take a while before they get up there to do any of that Uh, you know, the good news is they've got a lot of this, uh, a lot of this cleaning and stuff done. I can actually lower all of these for now. So we can concentrate on, um, oh, looks like mint was one of my growers, unfortunately. Uh, but we can concentrate on getting these defensive things set up, which do need to get done. Um, as a matter of fact, we don't even really need to haul that stuff. Yeah, it's going to last for quite a while sitting out there. So I think we can leave that alone for a little while. Well, this is going to be a challenging episode. I uh, decided to brave coming right back in. I mean, I'm worried about it, but not, you know, I like, I like the little defensive area that I've set up up there. And uh, I get taken an acid, so maybe that'll help with my heartburn. We'll see about that. But yeah, I guess we should get these doors and stuff fixed. I mean, we already started, right? It's not going to take that long. It's going to take much longer to get all that stuff carried up there and set up but with any luck we'll be able to assault that ship before the end of the episode and I think I will try <sighs> how much does it uh... I can't remember how much it affects the okay so Diego's on a mental break that's too bad I don't remember how much it affects your uh, uh, relations when you request uh Oh, look at that. We're making good progress on... You walked all the way up there to do that, to, to finish building one sandbag. Oh, Diego's sad wandering, so I can't ask him what to do. But how about I call... I just want to see what... Uh, 25 goodwill, huh? So that would take us down to 26. So we'd have to spend about 900 to get, to get that goodwill back. Of course, we're going to get a... Uh, 
we'll get a um, AI core out of it, so it might be worthwhile. I wonder where they go, like, because we won't have the we won't have the ship busted open by the time they show up. Are they just gonna hang around up here? I think it's gonna be worth trying out. We still have our friend Julian in a reasonable mood. Boy, Rasta's at a, the edge of a break as well, huh? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that definitely piled it on. It'd be a real shame if we didn't even live to see how the, you know, live to see the excitement of having all the additional difficulties added in. Uh, we get up to this fight, we're going to basically be in danger of uh, having a mental break during the fight. Well, luckily there's no nearby animals to, to worry about, so... That's a, you know, that's a starvation. Oh, it's going to be Diego. <sighs> Trying to stay calm here. I'll be really happy. Hopefully these um, these uh, uh, mental breaks get balanced when, uh, you know what I mean, for like Alpha 17. I mean, look at that. Diego has been on a mental break for like 18 hours, which is just preposterous. I, I can't imagine a mental break that doesn't end with the the pawn being in starvation mode, in which case then they're like really in danger of going immediately into another mental break. Uh, exhaustion, same thing. Like basically they have to have just woken up to not be exhausted when uh, here's Julian walking all the way up here to, to, uh, to do one thing. All right, let's hope he eats. There we go. And then goes to rest. Now let's get this stuff mined up. Did I? That is set to mine, right? That's not just like a plan or anything. Okay, good. Must designate it. What? Impassable mining. Oh, it's because I did just the ground. Well, you guys don't need to mine that shit. Is there anything else that you're going to mine that we don't need mined? Like, yeah, you know, cancel anything over there. Oh, come on. C for cancel. Orders, cancel. And, uh, I don't need you going. And, uh, don't mind that. Don't mind anything up there. Don't mind those things. You guys coming to mine up here? Good. Okay, that's what we need. So I'll say tomorrow morning we're going to go ahead and uh, try this out and hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know what I mean? Like hopefully we don't die. <laughs> That's all I can really hope for. Um, what was that? Probably an increase in the drone. Doesn't say. Oh, drone intensifies. Yep. Yeah. So now we've got two people at extreme break risk. That's just fantastic. Julian. Julian's going to break. I'm surprised he hasn't yet. And then, boy, it's going to be tough when he loses his, uh, when he loses his bonus from his rival dying. Still think that going in the morning is going to be the way to go. Jack, what are you doing? Don't, are you, seriously? All right, Julian, you're not gonna come up here and do that, Jack. No, I just said, Julian, you're not gonna do that. Jack, you're gonna do that. Julian, if you want to, you can dig. Why don't you dig it? Don't dig it compacted machinery. Where the heck is that at? 
No, forget it. Alright. Now what are you doing? Okay, that's fine. That's good behavior. So, shit, we can't... Are you kidding me? We can't, uh... Oh, no, no. Just mine that slate. Okay, why wouldn't you mine it before? As a matter of fact, I don't even need to... You know what? Forget it. We're not even gonna bother. We're just gonna fight these guys in the morning. Hopefully, nobody has a middle break by then. Hopefully we can call in our friends and uh, and they'll be helpful. Let's make sure everybody has a weapon. I know that yeah, Rasta got knocked down, so Rasta needs to go grab a new weapon. Um, I don't see any over here, so they're probably all still sitting out in the field. Do we have an assault rifle out here, maybe? We have the, the OMG gun. I guess that's going to be the best one, yeah, because Mint had a shotgun, so... Um, Maybe you'd be better off with uh, with this longbow, and then uh, and then everybody's gonna rest, and then we will go fight in the morning. What's Diego doing? Viewing art. Why don't you rest, Diego? I mean, I guess it's nice that you're uh, getting your joy up a little bit. Oh, are you not tired or something? What's going on? Okay, that's fine. You can cook. Definitely could use more food. Gardening is, is good. That way the food doesn't rot. All right. Oh, let's uh, let's try not to be too anxious here. Looks like everybody's moods are slightly improved. So that's good. Is everybody f fed and everything? Kind of expected everybody to be hungry. All right. Let's not waste any time then. Let's get up here, Volk. You're going to, uh, does it, I guess it, you know what, let's just have Julian do it. Julian, call our friends. Oh, slow down. And um, request military aid. Good. Disconnect. We're going to need to increase our, uh, increase our stuff, but that's all right. And where are these friendlies at? Oh, way down there. So they're not really going to be much help, unfortunately. Good, uh, good use of our goodwill. All right, let's get let's get these guys up here. Come on, guys, it's fight time. All right, let's see. So, rifle. There. Assault gun. There. Does anybody have a, uh, like, is there anybody with, with armor of any sort? Even like a, no, of course not. Wow. Rasta doesn't even have, like, clothing. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be um, interesting. Actually, why don't you go up there, Jack? So the idea is at least we'll be protected from uh, from um, the, f the fire things, if anybody has a fire thing. So like this guy with the... He should have a hard time shooting anybody. Uh, Rasta gets shot in the head. First, first shot off of that guy. Loses... Okay, at least I'll... Lead you know, it wasn't so bad. He lost an ear, which is not good, but it could have been worse. Diego, can you shoot? Uh, can you shoot this guy? No, nobody else can shoot that guy. All right, Jack, I want you to focus on on the sky there. there. Jack's not doing a very good job of focusing on that sky there. 
But we are definitely doing a good job of avoiding the uh, fire, which is usually the, the worst thing to run into. So I'm glad about that. Really scared me when Rasta had that headshot from the very beginning. All right, one centipede down. Where are our friendlies? Seriously, what are you guys doing? I, uh, what a waste of, uh, what a waste of effort. Is Volk gonna be able to shoot anybody from there? Good. Ah, good. You can shoot that sky there. All right. Well, that's why I th I'm pretty sure I'd called friendlies at some point in the past. That's, I'd say this is a good reason I will never do it again. <laughs> that that was uh, a huge waste of. Um, well, I'm not going to be able to shoot around the uh, the ship, am I? All right, you three just concentrate your fire on the ship then. And these guys are pretty safe behind their little tunnel. Well, that worked out really good. So the idea, you know, get these guys closest so they serve as the primary target and then set up a good, strong defensive area. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm glad I went with something more than just a couple of sandbags, which is what I've been doing uh, recently. I guess by recently, I mean, what, Saga Lago or something? I think I was a little too cavalier with my defenses there. All right, are the friendlies still, are they even on their way? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are a big help. You're really going to provide a real benefit now that you're jerks. Jeez. Will you give me a refund on our goodwill? I mean, I guess I could have waited for them to get a little closer. It's not like it would have hurt uh, to hold out a little bit, but, you know... I need to uh, adjust all of the work priorities back up all these hauling and cleaning and uh, all this mining back down and all the construction back down all right there we go cool well that wasn't so awful and that should help improve everybody's mood and then of course we ended up getting a a nice, uh, a nice uh, AI core out of it, so that's good. Thanks a lot, you guys. Big help. Really glad I spent 1,800 gold or 900 gold or whatever, whatever equivalent I spent on that. Julian, uh, where are you going, Julian? Oh, I guess to the steel stockpile. All right, let's let's go throw some money at these guys to get our relationships back. Uh, okay, so it's only going to cost us 600 gold, really. There we go. And request to trade caravan, exotic goods trader. Okay, disconnect. How much gold do we have left? 500. But we'll sell that AI core, and uh, that'll that'll pay for the whole expedition. Thanks, you guys. You're real troopers. Rasta, didn't you get your ear shut off? And you got shot in the torso. Why aren't you uh, why aren't you resting? Jack, why aren't you resting? Not injured. But it shows that you're injured. Oh. Yeah, bleeding 50%. What is going on? Uh I don't know. Guess I'll take your word for it. Look at all the stuff that needs to be hauled. Yeah, Jack, you are bleeding. Why won't it let you rest then? Not injured. Um. Hmm. Um. Okay. Shot off. Needs tending now. All right, I don't get it. Hopefully that doesn't develop into anything. Oh, look at that, a normal sculpture. Cool. Very exciting. 
Not all bad news. Uh oh, mental break. Oh, gut worms. Ugh, gut worms. Great. That's gonna, that's gonna really help us out. All right, I think we can go ahead and allow sowing in our hay grass area over there. Oh, look at that. Some of our auxiliary food is coming in. Oof, boy. Hmm, what an episode, huh? Diseases. Alien ships, heartburn. I guess that, that antacid did help. My heartburn feels a little better now. I think it's because I had chili for lunch, so I'm not going to blame it. I'm not going to entirely blame it on the game. I am still going to blame some of it on the game. Like Rasta. Is Rasta injured? Okay, Rasta's, but he's not like bleeding injured. He's just had his ear shot off, shot off injured. And he's just wandering and wandering like a big dummy. Do I? Okay, I do have that turned on. Just nobody's taking the time to plant anything. I bet you. I bet you Mint was one of our gardeners. One of our. No, he's not. It's Jack and Diego are our good gardeners. Why aren't they gardening? I guess they're busy doing other things. Diego's cooking. It looks like. And Jack, what are you doing, Jack? Oh, Jack is gardening. So. Oh, look, Diego's gardening too. Cool. Thanks, you guys. You're not so awful after all. You can continue to continue to be a part of my colony then. It's frustrating that uh, Cassandra sent us all those raiders, and then like, and gave us a whole bunch of recruits to choose from, and then was like, Nah, you know what? I'm not gonna let you recruit anybody. That really wasn't very nice, Cassandra. There's a bow, there's a bow. So we have five pawns, right? Yeah, we could definitely use more. So do I wanna burn through my regular medicine trying to treat these gut worms? I don't even know what, what, uh, what good it does. I don't think it does any good to treat them anyways. It's gonna burn through our food, but luckily we've got a decent food situation going right now, so. Ah, and these stupid birch trees. Now where's this, do I just not have that set up as a home area? I thought they had cleaned up all the blood. Yeah, that is home area. Iguana self-tamed. Well, welcome to lunch town. Population U. Uh, do I even have an animal area set up? Probably not. But we're going to butcher you. Sorry, Iguana. Not really sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Lots of steel. All that uh, mining finally paid off. Rasta, let me guess. You're hungry, exhausted, have no joy. No comfort. No wonder you're upset. See if you can manage to eat before you break down again. Good. Wait, whoa, that was weird. Change your mind about that hospital bed? Oh, all of our graves are full. Guess we're gonna have to dig more graves. It's a good way to wrap things up, huh? Positive note. At least I got them all into a nice clean line. That's a first. All right, you guys. Well, it's been an exciting episode, hasn't it? Uh, I didn't think we were going to make it through as well as we did. No serious injuries. I mean, Rasta lost an ear, I guess, and uh, Diego lost a toe. Is it Diego? No. Well, somebody lost a toe. Jack, maybe. Doesn't really matter. Um... I'm never able to click those little animals. There you go. We're going to slaughter you, Iguana. Sorry, buddy. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And um, if, uh, 
if uh, uh, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate everybody who watches, all my subscribers. You guys are the best. And I hope I'm just worried about forgetting about this trader. I don't want to want to let this trader get a little closer, and then I will I'll tell Julian to go talk to him. But I won't actually have Julian talk to him. I will end the episode as soon as I click on that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.